Hello and welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death with our Frost Mage uh, in World of Warcraft Hardcore on the official servers. Uh, we have made it back to Stranglethorn and our first task will be to return uh, to the trolls that have annoyed us a little bit earlier. So I'll be moving there and we're going to select or capture some shrunken skulls. All right, we arrived at uh, the camp of uh, the uh, trolls and it is time for some payback. Just look at uh, the amount of damage that we're doing compared to what we dealt beforehand. Granted, okay, they are also a little bit lower level than they had been before. But thanks to the barrier, also any form of ranged attacks will finally not interrupt us. So, even if they come close, it is oftentimes more efficient just to continue casting. So, we need 20 shrunken heads in these headhunters that always annoyed us with their spears. Are no longer a problem because we can cast through. Frost barrier is so good because it prevents uh, the stupid interruptions that we elsewise would get, hence resulting in simply quicker casting and better damage dealing. Also, granted I'm buffed at the moment with 1200 AC, not too bad if I may say so. Good. Most of these guys, oh wow, 550 crit. Love <laughs> Most of these guys do not really stand a chance, and all we need to do is get these headhunters. So I will do that off screen. Fast forward for you guys, as always, so that we can uh, get through that quest nicely. Good. We got all of them down. 20 heads, or shrunken heads rather, that we collected. Uh, not a big issue, and we're easily handing in, handing it in, uh, going for the jungle feather and the jungle stalker, and handing that in up there. Might as well do the singing crystals, and then I'm. I think we're almost done up here. Shows that this guy. Okay. Clan hats. Okay, that would be up there. Okay, we can take that uh, the next time that we're uh, going around. First, let's do all of this, trade back in, and get there. All right, so we're ready. Uh, I'll start over here with the crystalline mine. And then we're going. Uh, we're going for the raptors next. So singing blue crystals. If I remember correctly, these little miners, yeah, from the venture corporation, are the ones that we need to kill for it. our new barrier the ranged uh, dynamite attacks do not do a lot of damage yeah and other than the dynamite attack there isn't much happening there we go got a level and we're going with shatter which means the moment that something is freezing 
we are getting 10% extra crit chance. So, uh, frostbite means freezing. The chain return means the moment that they are either frozen by a frostbite or by a trying to hit us. That means we have 10% more, more crit chance. And with the in increased 50% uh, more crit damage, uh, that is going to hurt like a lot. That's the combo. Which makes sense. See, the guy is frozen. Let's see if we can get a crit. Yep, there we go. 590. And it's just going to be more and more over time because we will get it up to plus 1550% crit chance against frozen targets. There's even the possibility for just a little bit more. Good. So the strip miners, uh, I unfortunately ran out of mana. Let's hope he's not pulling anything. He was not, which is good. Nah. Unfortunately, barely a pull. There we go. Getting out of uh, combat. Couple of uh, hidden Shadowmore Panthers here, uh, which is why people are uh, sometimes dying. But yeah, our idea or the idea here would be to just farm everything outside and be a little bit more mindful with the mana. Um, I'll do another round with one full mana, uh, mana bar just to showcase how efficient it is. Uh, meanwhile, you can see 10% per uh, point invested, which is great. So that's the next five points for us. Interestingly enough, uh, the other talents in my perspective are still more important because you want to make sure that the enemies can't even reach you. Increase with the bay. And there's another caster. All right, I'll fast forward until uh, I'm done with getting all of uh, the uh, nice little singing blue crystals. Good, we're done here. It took a little bit longer, almost 10% of uh, the XP for the level was just grinded there. Um, it was relatively quick because the respawn was quick, but it took a lot of enemies. All right, next up, quite a few raptors. And I think given that we're in the open here, Raptors aren't terribly dangerous. Might as well uh, try to use Mage Armor for this one. So we're going to see how good the sustain is with Mage Armor. Let's find the Raptors first. There we go. Raptors ready. 
let's take a good look and see how well we're sustaining. So for starters, I hope that I don't need to use a lot of uh, frost novas. So they are even or slightly higher level. And they have comparably high hit points. Just double checking how many mobs uh, we, could, uh, uh, we could go through in one in one sitting. So that's number three, chain pulled without a break. So three to four. Now we could try to also go without a shield, but for the unlikely event that they will reach us, might as well just go with a shield. You can see they go down super fast. That's the a uh, bit well interesting part about. Uh, Strangle with a thorn veil, isn't it? Uh, it is the most grindy location. Almost all of it is kill 10, uh, collect uh, XYZ from killing 10 uh, mobs here and there. So you're almost always just trying to kill uh, stuff. Very little kind of other interactive quests, which is fine i suppose i mean that's just the theme of uh, this region and the whole hunting quest with nesting uh, veil are just basically that hunting quests where you are trying to kill as many of them as uh, possible and it gives you good xp but it is on the downside a bit competitive because you're ending up just continuously fighting essentially I will fast forward this year for you guys. Uh, I still need seven jungle stalker feathers. All right, Raptor's done. And as you can see, another more than 10% grind. That took a while, but lucky for us, uh, we got two quests for the price of one. Yep, uh, need to get sinners uh, down here. And I'm thinking, given that we're oftentimes so far away from here, might as well just make that our home and hearthstone to here. Relatively easy from here uh, to get to Swamp of Sorrows and also down here to Booty Bay. So the Gromgaut camp isn't too bad. Next up, we're going to get the Raptor Mastery traded in and then we're moving up to here. Perfect, we made it up to here and now it's time to head in the Raptors. get the Raptor Elite quest as well as the Panther Elite quest 
And after we've done both, we would be able to do the uh, Tiger Elite quest. I don't think that we can do them alone, but maybe I will find someone. All right, so we have reached the headquarter of the trolls. Time for us to go to work and get to their leadership structure. This is going to be a little bit rougher, but I'm sure we can do it. Pay a lot of attention inside of their camp because there are uh, many patrols and a lot of respawns. Good, we've officially discovered their rules. Let's go. Gotta get both uh, both of the heads of the leaders and see this is one of the patrols that I was referring to. If you spot them out early enough, that's fine, but it is super super easy to run into them. And then effectively you do have a problem. fight them with full mana but at this point King Storm, new spell damage and the high level frost balls we're doing very very well so our idea is to go straight to the bosses all right off we go Thanks to our um, frost barrier, these hunters are not a problem at all. There's another patrol over here. And another patrol over there. And another patrol. Good. We're going straight ahead. And then to the right. to put a net on us, which is cute. Okay, I think we got all of the patrols. Where we need to go up 
onto the plateau. Almost ran into a patrol from behind. Fabulous. So this might be a double. It's not, but there is another patrol. And I will just pull this guy back so that this patrol doesn't add. I could take a shortcut here and just jump up. Let's go, buddy. But we're also a bit on a timer because we, of course, want to clear this here before respawns start kicking in directly behind us. was another one here so a patrol must have gone in and there is a double patrol from behind just keep that in mind that's going to be important <laughs> Double patrol, and there is the patrol from the front. We are far enough in to not trigger these guys from behind, which was important for me, which is also why I did not move. Very good. Good time for us to get to the plateau. There's always the option to kind of jump up here and then jump down. But if possible, I don't want to uh, train all of uh, these uh, all of uh, these trolls to the zone. That would not be good. Easy option for them to just add on more, and then I do have a problem. Single pull. Getting enough space so that I can maneuver here without problems. Double pull. But 
with barrier and crowd control, we should be okay. There's a potential ad here. Why I'm not looting is I don't want to trigger respawn by looting them, uh, they respawn a bit faster, and I can loot in a second. Another single before we get a double. And then we're almost there. This here is already messy out the dire. One of uh, the targets. Just getting a little bit more mana. Triple it down. And one more to go. Uh, where's uh, the other one? I think back here. Might be standing right there. All 
right, it took some while. The guy is on a long uh, respawn timer. Didn't even know that that existed for the quest mobs. But I cleared the area a couple of times, just waiting for him, essentially. <laughs> Trying very much to single pull as many as uh, I can, as you can see, I left some unlooted for now. Okay, let's get this guy down. Interesting. But he hits. <laughs> Alright, and given that there is even more reason coming in, for us it's definitely time to Uber out here. That was an interesting final uh, quest part. Let's tr uh, trade in the quest. Okay, time to get a reward for hard earned labor here. That is a 46 quest and a 40 quest. Okay, fair enough. But I tell you what, um, both of it isn't that important at the moment. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Booty Bay because there are quite a few uh, trade ins and available quests. We do have a few quests uh, in our quest lock as well. So this here is potentially round number three of uh, String of Thorn once, once we come back. Um, XP-wise, interestingly enough, the few quests that we did since there was so much grinding involved were at uh, 41 and a half, so that's not bad at all. And it's time for us to get a few more in Booty Bay. Oh boy a lot of quests so i just took the ones that are non-elite but boy oh boy look at that we got quests up here we now that is an elite quest are you kidding me we even got score splitter tasks to just go back yet again uh, should have known in advance but before we do that we're starting down here i want to quest a little bit more in that direction so that's going to be our first uh, quest hub Alright, step number one, we are fighting against a couple of blood sale buccaneers. Just needing to trade in a quest. And I vaguely remember there is an escort quest here as well. Might be completely wrong. Barrier. This guy is 
is hitting hard. Very hard. Alright. Just so out of a matter of principle because I haven't used evocation in ages. has no meaning for me can blink out of it all right now i do understand why people might get in trouble here the double pull was a bit reckless uh but yeah he hits for a lot I think Pretty Boy Duncan is the one that we need to kill. Okay, these are his plans. That one is actually better. Nice, we got an upgrade. And I think that was already it. No more action here with uh, Boy Duncan. He might be the subject of a follow-up quest. I vaguely remember uh, that there was an orb or something uh, there. Very good. Next up, Mist Whale Givers and H Gorilla Sinew. For the latter, we are starting to grind these mist veil gorillas. Growl, thunder, stomp, and bite. Ah, I remember then. Thunder, uh, stomp is nasty for anyone in melee. But that's not really our problem. Alright. Fast forwarding that for you guys. Oh wow, so we were looking for H Gorilla Sinew, which is a rare drop uh, for quest. Even the quest text says uh, it might not drop immediately. But boy, that was the understatement of the year. Uh, I grinded, I think, for 15%, just killing gorillas. Uh, so we're going to trade uh, the bad boy quests in, and I think that's also going to be more or less it for today. Uh, we have made quite a bit of progress, almost level 42. So I'll think about what I can showcase in the next episode. Uh, maybe I'll uh, finish uh, Strength of the Horn. Uh, behind the scenes and then we're transitioning into one of the 40 to 50 level areas we'll we'll see quest number one will be the gorilla quest number one then Quest number two is the 
about Save Back in Years. Captain's Chest, Monogram Sash, no. That's not what we're going to do. I think we need to place a battle plan, which might have been over here. Not a hundred percent sure. Quest number one again. number three fantastic swashbucklers and we got the riddle quest down here we can do that the next time a couple of interesting quests actually and we do have a quest up here which is the sinew uh, mm. Which would then also lead into us killing yet again a couple more uh, trolls. And then over here. Oh, we, you know what? Don't need to go. We can actually kill the trolls over here and get the trophies. Well, that's not too bad. I suppose that would work. Very good. That's it for today. Uh, again, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And see you in the next episode of Diaries of Death. Bye bye.